Well, hello, YouTube friends. I got a new 3D printer. What do you say we get it unboxed and put together? Just like... As you can see, this thing is incredibly easy to get put together and uh, get it up and running. Uh, full disclosure, my AMS or multicolor system for this printer is not hooked up yet. Uh, when I ordered it on this Black Friday special that they were running from uh, Bamboo Labs website, uh, it was actually on back order and basically every part of this came in a separate box with its own tracking number. I have no idea why. But uh, I'm still waiting on one piece to get this hooked up. I will make a video of exactly how you connect this uh, AMS system right here to the printer right here. Uh, again, it's extremely straightforward. You really don't need me to show you, but I will anyways just for a closure on this video. So you're probably asking yourself, why on earth would you need another 3D printer? I already have the Elegoo Centauri Carbon. I already have a Creality Ender 3 V3 SE, and I have an old uh, Creality 3, I'm sorry, uh, Ender 3 Pro in the garage that I don't use anymore. Um, so here's here's the deal. I bought this Elegoo Centauri Carbon back here with the thoughts of multicolor printing. Multicolor meaning, you know, one object can have different colors within the object, not just one single color which is all I've been able to do in the past anyone who's around the 3d printing game knows I don't think multicolor is ever coming for that printer unfortunately uh, I guess all of us that bought it got kind of bamboozled with any luck it'll still come out I'm definitely not holding my breath and if you own one you probably shouldn't be holding yours either because at the end of the day I really don't think it's coming with that said this is a great machine it really does print fantastic um so far, so good anyways. I have four, 450 hours, I believe, on that printer. I don't really have a complaint about it, other than I want to be able to print multicolor stuff. Uh, also, what I really want to do more than anything is be able to use a material called PETG, or as it's commonly referred to as PETG, as the support interface for my PLA prints. Um, I hate the way supports print. I hate the way that interface layer always ends up on the print. And honestly, at the end of the day, I'm just really sick of being unhappy with the results that I get. So with this new printer, which is a Bamboo Labs P1S, probably one of the best printers in the industry as far as I'm concerned. Um, not very many people are unhappy with it. Of course, when you look at reviews, you only see negative stuff. That's because people only ever complain. 
very few and far between do people actually show off the positive side of anything, not just 3D printers. Go to Amazon, look up one of your favorite products, and then check out the reviews and see what they look like. You know as well as I do, there's a lot more negative than positive. And I guess that's just uh, human nature. That's just what we do. So I figured I would do a little bit of a walk around here, show you some of the differences, some of the things that I like so far, some of the things that I dislike so far, and just give you my overall opinion. Keyword being my opinion of this 3D printer. Um, other people can have a difference in opinion. That's totally okay. This is my opinion. I'm sitting right about 45 to 50 hours on this printer right now, so a decent amount of time. You know, nothing remarkable yet, but I'm really waiting for this multicolor setup to uh, be finished up and be able to do, like I said, uh, use PETG to print for the support interface. So let's take a look at these two printers and do a little bit of compare and contrast and some of the pros and cons. All right, so first and foremost, as you can see, they are both enclosed printers. Uh, they both have a glass top and a glass bottom, which is great. You can see in, see your print really well. Uh, many of the newer machines have glass over here on the sides, so you can see, you know, really all the way around your print, which I think is great. So for clarity, just in case you don't know, that is the P1S. This is the Elugu Centauri Carbon. For the remainder of the video, this is going to be called the Carbon, and that's going to be called the P1. So some of the maybe obvious differences, this carbon has a pretty darn nice um, touch screen on it. Uh, as you can see, it's much bigger than this screen all the way up here on the P1. As far as I'm concerned, this screen on the P1 might as well not be there. It really sucks. It does work. Uh, it, the buttons are very responsive, but it's very tiny. Doesn't really give you a lot of graphical data or information. Um, again, it works. The joy of this, though, is with everything Bamboo Labs, you can use the Bamboo Studio and uh, their, their associated slicer. So you really never even need to touch this screen. You can also download the Bamboo Handy app on your phone and control this entire printer from an app on your phone. Going a little bit deeper, they're both uh, 256 cubed build size so you could literally print a 256 by 256 by 256 cube both printers they both have uh, removable magnetic PEI type build sheets uh, so far both of them seem perfect as far as print adhesion and all of that everything seems to work well there magnets seem a little bit stronger in the door of the bamboo that's not really anything more than an observation uh, the light inside of both of these, in my opinion, really sucks. This has a light strip on the side. Let me show you real quick. Uh, this white light right here is a light strip on the side. It is better than the Centauri Carbon. My version of this printer just has one small light up here in the corner. Let me turn that on and show you. So it's on right now. And now it's off. As you can see, it literally makes no difference. You can see the light right here coming on and off. So there's on, there's off. Literally makes no difference whatsoever. I, however, added LEDs all the way around the top. Um, this is a 3D printed riser, as you can see. I added LED strips all around the top, which lit it up quite well. I've seen similar mods for this printer. That light is better. It's definitely better, but it's nothing remarkable. Uh, this is, let's call it version 2 of this printer. Uh, it has a port on the back for the multi-filament or multicolor filament, but it still has the crappy light. They have, let's call it a version 3. Again, the plug on the back for the multicolor and a better lighting system inside. So I got unlucky, I guess, and got the version 2. Like I said, they do now have a version 3, which looks to be much better. I obviously don't have it, so I can't truthfully tell you that. So going a little bit deeper into the pros and cons, um, to be completely honest, I'm not unhappy with either machine. Uh, I pointed out some of the obvious not noticeable differences. The carbon comes with a all metal hardened steel nozzle hot end. 
This has a steel nozzle, but it's not hardened. So if you're going to get into the more of uh, engineering type filaments, you probably want to order a hardened steel nozzle right off the bat for this, or you're probably uh, most likely going to go through that nozzle pretty quick. And then it's going to start printing like crap anyways. So just throw a hardened nozzle in there and be done with it. The cool part about bamboo is everything seems pretty darn cheap. Nozzles are like 20 bucks. They seem pretty readily available on Amazon. Of course, you can buy them through the bamboo store, which is probably the smartest thing to do. And I'm not going to lie, the ecosystem tied to bamboo, I was a hater until I joined into it. It's just incredible. I've been around Creality for a long time. I'm pretty new to the carbon. It's a new printer. Only been on the market for maybe six or so months. I actually bought that on a pre-order. And again, I'm not unhappy with it. I just think this P1 is a far better machine, mostly because of the ecosystem. Um, I'll equate it to Android versus Apple, which isn't really a fair comparison because they're different, but I think everyone can collectively agree that Apple has an incredible ecosystem. You can be doing something on your cell phone, walk over, pick up your iPad, continue right where you left off. All of the Apple products pair well with the phones, the iPads, the MacBooks, the whole nine yards. That's the way they have this figured out. Going down that same rabbit hole, the slicer for bamboo printers is just incredible. You literally download a model off of Maker World, which is kind of bamboo's uh, site, if you will, for 3D models, and just click print. I mean, it just prints so darn good. My carbon, as well, prints really, really well. I kind of feel like I got one of the good ones. There seems to be a lot of people upset with the quality of their prints. I don't know if something's loose. I don't know if there's a bug in the firmware. I've actually rolled this back like five versions of firmware. I think they're on 1.1.46 or something like that. I rolled it back to, I believe it's 1.1.29 because that seems the most stable version of firmware, which the entire printer runs off of firmware. So I don't know if I'm gonna get this video out before their Black Friday sale is over. I suspect they'll run another good sale at Christmas time. If you're in the market for a 3D printer, again, I'm just an average Joe making YouTube videos and sharing my opinion, but I'm telling you, this thing is a machine. When you're using it and you have the two side by side, I can't really describe exactly how it sounds, but this P1 just sounds deliberate and intentional. The carbon seems like they cared a lot more about it being quiet, like the, the printer motors and stuff being quiet. And it doesn't seem like it has quite the quality that this P1 has. They're both not super quiet machines. If you're gonna have this thing beside your bed, which is not a great idea due to the VOCs coming off of the materials anyways. But if you have this beside your bed, it's probably going to keep you awake, just being honest. They're not super quiet. They're by no means loud. I can have them in my workshop and record videos. I've actually done that a ton of times and no one's ever complained, so they must not be too loud. But I'm just putting it out there. They do make fan noise. They do make stepper motor noise. Again, they're not perfectly quiet by any means. This old Creality machine right here, again, that's an Ender 3 V3 SE, the alphabet printer. Um, it's, it's actually quieter, albeit it's an open... Uh, open bed slinger type printer so it doesn't have a chamber fan and stuff that kicks on and off to maintain chamber temperature so you are not really fairly comparing the two but stepper motor noise almost zero on that machine stepper motor noise a good bit louder on the p1 versus the carbon so that's kind of my hot take on this again it's just entirely my opinion i'm not trying to sway you one way or another I think the most important takeaway from all of this is Elegoo promised a multicolor system for the carbon. It doesn't look like it's going to happen, or if it does, who knows how good it's going to be. I have a feeling if we do get something, it's going to be very rushed and unrefined. This P1 has been around for a long time. It's an absolute workhorse. Anybody who's using them has literally thousands of hours on them and they can't complain. So I guess weigh your odds. Uh, this is on sale right now at the time of this video. I think something around 279 I got my P1S with the new AMS Pro 2 or whatever it's called, the new uh, AMS system here. I think the whole thing shipped to my door was like 660 bucks. So this is 
half the price basically of this, but I got the AMS. I got what I wanted out of this machine. It really seems to print better so far. The bamboo ecosystem is incredible. Like I said earlier, I was a hater. I thought they were just all fanboys and every printer printed the same. It's just not true. Bamboo really, really does seem to have put some serious time and effort into refining their machines, refining their ecosystem, refining their slicer. I mean, there's uh, pre-made profiles for all the different materials. You can literally drop PLA or any material into this AMS. They use RFID. The slicer automatically recognizes what it is, and bam, you're printing without doing hardly anything. So, again, Christmas is coming. Maybe your husband or wife or children or whoever may want a 3D printer. I'd seriously look into Bamboo Labs. I was a hater. This thing changed my mind. I understand why people like it so much. With all of that said, though, this Centauri Carbon from Elegoo, I think it's a great machine. It's 300 bucks. May or may not ever have multicolor. Obviously, I don't know. I'm not sure if anybody knows at this point. They do have a new Centauri Carbon 2, which will have AMS tied to it. Uh, they've already shown pictures and videos of that, so it exists. Hopefully, they'll get it on there. I would definitely love to buy it. I'd love to have two multicolor printers. But here we are. I'm going to be rocking the P1 for a long time with any luck. The carbon's going to stay here being a single color workhorse for uh, engineering grade filaments. And we'll continue on. Life will be great. As always, thanks so much for stopping by. Hopefully you were able to take something out of this video. I'm done rambling on about 3D printing. Get you a Bamboo Labs printer. We'll see you in the next video.